beautiful Alyssa, slender and skyscraper. Uh, why do I get nervous when I think of a windy day? Yeah, you could <laughs> not me. pay me to take the elevator in that thing. Oh, no, it'd just make you sick. I can already like feel it in my stomach, really. Yes, just looking at that, oh. how high up that is. Hey, even a couple stories up high with the winds we have today, 20 miles an hour wind speeds, I'm still not doing it. I, you can't make me, you can't make me do it. Right now, temperatures are at 38 degrees in Indianapolis, but it feels like it's below freezing outside. Raining at the airport, however, we are seeing snow pop up on the radar already. So look at that near uh, Greencastle, also Rushville, Columbus, Bloomington, Kokomo even see, still seeing a little bit of light snow on radar. I know we are a week into April. Should we really be getting snow? It's not all that uncommon. We did this again last year and even got snow as late as the last week of April last year too. So we can maintain cold enough temperatures to move our moisture into the snow zone, but we don't really like to do that, of course, because it is spring after all. Baseball's already started. We should be a lot warmer than this, but over the last couple of hours on satellite radar, look at this, the rotation here. You can tell we are in the middle of this big low pressure system spinning counterclockwise. I'm going to switch it over so you can see the wind flow and the temperatures. Look at that. Yeah, it's just churning out cold Canadian air, blasting it through and keeping our temperatures cold. We cannot pull anything out of the south. We are getting zero Gulf moisture here. It is all cold and actually mostly there's some drier air that's going to start to file in as we get closer to the weekend. Because when we pull that air off the called like, like a continental air mass, more of a drier air mass, that's what we're going to be pulling from our source and, and getting in some drier air as we get in closer to Sunday. So that is something to look forward to because as that happens, we also get a nice warm up. Winds are mostly out of the west, about 10 miles an hour, making it feel like it is about 10 degrees cooler than it actually is outside. So our wind chills are below freezing for the most part. We're at 31 degrees in Indianapolis. Feels like just 29 in Kokomo. Our actual air temperature is about 10 degrees warmer. So the winds really can do a number on us when it's when the sun hasn't risen yet and we are not looking at uh, we're looking at kind of a cloudier day ahead remember we talk about temperatures that's actually forecast temperatures are in the shade so the sun if we had any would help us out quite a bit but it's not gonna be the case today cloudier skies and as we head more into the afternoon hours some of that mixed precipitation is going to transition more over to light rain showers and then as the sun begins to set again temperatures remain cool heading into the evening. Look what happens overnight. We get more snow showers as we go overnight late Friday evening and early Saturday morning. So if you miss the snow today, you don't have plans to head outside. No worries. You can see some snow tomorrow to start off your weekend and yeah, we got more Saturday snow showers coming up and then things look like it's going to be a little bit nicer for sat or for Sunday. So we will start to dry out late Saturday night and we'll see a little bit of sun trying to peek through on Sunday. Looking at our seven day forecast, there is some good news in the planner. We do go back into the 70s. The only thing that's actually normal on this entire seven day is going to be that Sunday at 62. Everything else is either bitterly cold in the 40s or much, much warmer in the mid to upper 70s. Well, hey, we do have some good news too on the roads to report for you right now. No slowdowns to report, even though the colors that you're seeing there just lit up to remind you that some of the mixed precipitation can cause some slick spots on the roads this morning. If you are doing that commute on the south side, if you're going Greenwood I-65 northbound from County Line Road. Looks like speeds are running about 70 miles per hour and there are no slowdowns to report at the moment. So great news there, but you can tell the, some of the pavements a little bit wet as you head outside. All right, turning over to 550 right